She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. And you know, I have kept Steve here, my friend, and we had to have another little episode together. That sounds funny too, but. Um, you told me that you were going um, somewhere and you needed to take something. Exactly. I have a little potluck later today and I need a little something to take with me. Well, I thought about bringing gelatin salad back. And you know, a lot of people don't make the molded salads anymore. And people are scared to do that. And you know, you can go to yard sales and find all these fun little shapes like a fish and look, a, a rooster and you can even find like little bells and things like that for like weddings and um, divorce parties or whatever you want with that. But you can make a molded salad and um, it's super simple and some of the ingredients sometimes will scare people when they hear it because today we're putting some cottage cheese into a gelatin mixture. Um, but it's really great. It's got taste of lemon, lime, and cheese. And it's just great served on some lettuce leaves and we're going to be making it today and it's got pineapple and it's super oh, simple. Yes. Fantastic. Very sweet. And we're going to show you how to make it up next. We'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make Jolene's Pineapple Gelatin Surprise. One package of lime and lemon gelatin. One cup of cottage cheese. One small can of crushed pineapple. One cup of whipped topping. Half cup nuts. One cup of Duke's mayonnaise. Two cups boiling water. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. You know, Steve, this gelatin salad, I mean, really, people haven't been doing those for years. No. Uh, years and years and years, but they're so simple to make and really pretty out on a buffet table. People will talk about it, and they're so simple to make. And we're going to take just a saucepan, and we're going to put the two cups of the boiling water here and get that going in there. And we're also going to put in Here, let me both. Put that for okay, you. thank you, because that was getting a little hot there, just a little bit. And we're going to pour in the both the lime and the lemon gelatin. Such a pretty green yellow color there. Exactly. And there we go. And we're going to just put this on a like a medium uh, stove to to really so to to just make it clear to to melt it here. I can smell all the way over here. It smells good. It does. I mean, it's very limey, lemony. We've melted our gelatin mixture over on the stovetop here. Now we're just going to add our other ingredients. And I'm going to have to say this again. It's not going to look pretty in there um, when you start adding it, especially when you add the one cup of the cottage cheese into the little lemon lime mixture here. There we go. There you go. And you can take a look there, Steve. That, look at that, no. Steve. You can want to show that 
Well, they can't even see it. They, they don't want to see that. No. Not pretty at all. Um, kind of curdled a little bit. Um, but it's going to be okay in the mold here. You're going to take a small can of the crushed pineapple. Going to add that to the mixture. There we go. And we're going to add... Um, today we're using the Duke's mayonnaise, which is just the best mayonnaise in my opinion. And I know that sounds strange in a gelatin salad mixture, but it's going to be okay. So we're going to add just a cup of the Duke's mayonnaise here to our pineapple gelatin surprise. There we go. There we go. And we're going to add... Uh, about a half cup of our favorite nuts and see today we're using pecans we're gonna just dump those on in there there we go and um, I'm using prepared um, whip topping today um, I'm gonna use just about a cup of that just about a cup there we go and dump that on into the mixture and we're gonna stir this around so it looks uniform um, it looks unusual, I know, and then we're going to find a suitable mold for it okay. because it's going to have to go in the refrigerator and it's going to take at least a few hours to set up. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and mix this and we're going to get to the molding part in just a minute. Welcome back. You know, you can use any sort of mold. You can find them at yard sales or even like thrift stores have uh -huh. them now because I, as I said, not many people are making these and you should be because they're so good. And here's one that looks like a bell and um, I've got the fish one, but I've just grabbed this one down off my wall. It's just a really simple um, little one that's, you know, it's four cups. You can probably get two or three out of this mixture and um, you want to use a paper towel with some maybe some vegetable oil and wipe the inside of it so it comes out a little bit okay. easier for you but what you do is you just take the mold and your mixture and pour the mixture right on in there um, Steve watch the test kitchen carpet here I'm trying there we go all right and you just fill it right up to the line there and now we're going to pop it in the refrigerator to firm up and it's going to take a few hours okay. and it's going to really take a few hours to firm up and look pretty and you probably want to get together a plate with some lettuce or something on it so you can upend it on there real nice with that and um, we're going to pop it in the refrigerator and let it set up and we're going to go do some things in the meantime. My gelatin surprise has had a few hours in the refrigerator here and as you see it's nice and pretty and green, almost like a seafoam green too. Um, but to get it out of the mold, of course you had that wipe around with the uh, oil on it, but if you take some um, kind of hot water and run it on the outside of the mold here, just like that, and warm it up just a bit and you take your plate that you're going to use. You could already put lettuce leaves down on it or something like that. You could really make it pretty. And well, I'm going to have to put it on okay. the thing. This, this might not work. And if it doesn't work, it could break in half. Just mash it up and just call it some sort of, you know, spoon salad or something like that. People will never know the difference. So let's see if it'll come out here. Oh, it did. Beautiful. And there we go. We have our gelatin salad. It has that pineapple and the cottage cheese, which people will think is something exotic because really they won't know that it is the cottage cheese in there. And it has the nuts and it has um, that cool creamy uh, whipped topping in there too. And this will really look good on that buffet table, won't it? And Absolutely. We're going to put some lettuce leaves on there and make it look real pretty. Maybe some uh, maraschino cherries up Ooh. on top on there. Make it really look festive, especially if it's around for the holidays too. You could probably put some food coloring in this and make it a different color, but isn't that pretty? Let's go ahead and cut into it and try a piece because this looks great. I, I can't wait to try it. Neither can I. And we're back. And Steve, we have some of our gelatin um, salad that we made today, the pineapple one. And it's such a surprise because it's easy to make and it has the canned pineapple and the cottage cheese and 
uses that gelatin mold that you know you could pick up at the yard sales and the, the thrift stores and now we're at the, the tasting phase. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Mmm, it's good. Very creamy. It's creamy. Has a bit of a cheese taste to it. Um, it's got that creamy cheese taste. I think that's what I would call it. With the lemon and lime taste and the nuts, you could really change those out. You could put like some sugared nuts in there. Ooh. And really great. And these are just so easy to make, the gelatin salads, and I really wish they do make a comeback. And now that I've showed you how to make them, I hope you get a chance to make one too. And be sure to send me pictures of it. And they're they're easy on your budget too. They're oh, they're really great. simple to make, and I'm sure your your guests will like it. Tune in next time where I show you how to make more cheap and easy budget treats. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Visit me on the web at cookingwithjolene.com. I love you, and I'll see you back real soon. Bye bye. Bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride in the stuff. double wide. Visit my store at JolaneSugarBaker.com.